Hey guys, it's James again. Today we are going to be talking about my five pet peeves. Okay, hurry up. Number one, I am a smells person. It's important to smell nice. To me, it's a big deal. If someone doesn't smell it, I, it's a turn off. It's just, a, it's a thing because, you know, I had a nickname when I was younger, ham grease, it got to my head, couldn't do it. Say, I don't really want to talk about it, but the, the, the moral of the story is I smell good all the time now. So that is, that's what matters now. Not what my nickname was in seventh grade. Number two, okay, so I just got back from San Francisco. We went to the fair, we are having a great time. We're waiting in line for one of the rides, and I realized that there were kids cutting in line. There must have been a group of seven kids when we started. By the time we reached the area where the line, you know, was forced to like, you couldn't cut anymore, there were probably 30 kids, I'm not exaggerating, like 30 kids that came and cut us in line. And that is a huge pet peeve. You can't just cut people in line. Like, it's, just, it's, it's basically like a giant you to all the people that are behind you. This is where bad drivers come from. And these kids at the fair, they're the ones that are gonna grow up to be the terrible drivers of the world. These are the people that merge and cut you off in traffic, that skip everybody else and cause more traffic. Which brings me to point number three. I can't stand it when people cut me off in traffic and they don't wave. I don't care what you do. You could almost total my car. You could almost kill me in my car. But if you wave after the incident and everything's okay, I'm good. It's all right, do your thing, we're good. But the people that look at you and they're like, yeah, that just happened. What are you gonna do about it? You're an if you get one thing from my YouTube channel, wave. When you cut somebody off, be like, hey, listen, my bad. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I acknowledge that you're a human being that has feelings. The one thing that really gets me on an airplane is when people fart, okay? And the problem with this is it's not like an elevator where like you can kind of like look around and be like, okay, there's only three of us in here, so I know that it's one of you two bitches. When you're in an airplane, you have no idea where it's coming from. You're breathing in, you're happy, you're going to Europe, you're like, and then all of a sudden, it literally is like your nose has been violated. Don't fart on airplanes. Buy some tums. Get some gas eggs. We are in we're we're in a day and age where we have help for that. You left your gas X in my car. My biggest pet peeve is not leaving any toilet paper. Because when you have to take a poop, you're not thinking about anything. You're like, I gotta get on the toilet, I gotta get it out of me. You're not worried about if there's toilet paper. That's, that's a given. You're supposed to have it there. That's not, that's not a thing. I have been stranded on the toilet three times in the last month. And my roommate likes to put toilet paper underneath the sink in the kitchen. Not in the bathroom, in the kitchen. Do you know what it's like waddling from the toilet to the kitchen? Don't leave someone with no toilet paper. It doesn't take long. Just put it, put it on, put another roll on there. It takes two seconds. Or you just look before you shit. That's what we have to do in our house. And that's five of my pet peeves. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment below your five pet peeves. I loved y'all's comments on the last video. They were hilarious. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And that's it, guys. James out.